Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for something I'm sure nobody was expecting, but uh, I'm going back to playing Undertale. Uh, this game I actually was playing back in October. I only did three episodes, or at least posted three episodes, uh, but I actually recorded uh, probably double that, but uh, some of the episodes I recorded got lost, and then I was also informed that I was totally messing the game up. I kind of wish I would have been spoiled about it, but I was spoiled that, you know, since I was killing everything, I was going to get the bad ending, or at least a neutral ending, uh, and I didn't really want that. So I actually went ahead and I restarted the game, because I was so much further uh, in my recordings than what I had posted, and I haven't killed anybody. And it seems like that's going to be okay, but like, Flowey, the flower at the beginning of the game, is like, yo, I know what you did at the start, you know, the first time you played the game, I know you reset. Um, so I don't know if that messes with my ending at all, but regardless, I know a lot of different things happen, like more characters, like have different dialogue with you based on what you do. So, um, it's also interesting. It's more like a puzzle game rather than like an RPG if you go ahead and try not to kill anyone. But this is where we left off in the recordings and I didn't get too far, but I did do one of the boss fights and saw a pretty significant sequence in the game, but, uh, you know, it shouldn't ruin the experience too much. Uh, so hello, Traveler. How can I help you? Uh, let's buy Tough Glow. I actually already have one of those. Uh, five attack. Let's see, we definitely want to get some more defense. Because we are getting our... Like, since we're not fighting anything, we're definitely getting hurt more often. Eat it twice. That's cool. Oh, I would love a cinnamon bun, to be honest. I haven't had a cinnamon bun in, like... Like a real cinnamon bun I probably haven't had in like 10 years. It sounds really good. Oh, you know what? Never <laughs> I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd just be out of business in a jiffy. That's really funny. She like does not let you sell. That makes sense. But yeah, Undertale is a game that I loved a lot when I first started playing it and I regret, I regret it completely that I never finished it. Um, so we're playing it now. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I don't know. Welcome to Snowed Inn. That's such a good name for an inn. Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is 80 G. Oh, but I don't have enough. Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? Oh, nice. <laughs> that snoring sound effect is really good. What a nice lady. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Feel free to come back if you get tired. That's really good. So is our HP higher now? Oh yeah, it's 10 more. Awesome, that's super helpful. Um, it makes sense too, because like with the inn, like with all the save points being your health recovery points, oh, there was a reason for me to do that. I forgot about this. But yeah, so I haven't played this game since October. Um, you know, even though I haven't posted in a long time, I did record, like, a bunch and just lost the videos, and I was really bummed about it. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What? Because she has a pet bunny? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, it seems a little weird that she has a pet bunny and is a bunny. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns, so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh, I actually ran into that enemy while I was on my way over here. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I wear a lot of striped shirts, so I guess I'm a kid too. It's actually like a weird... Uh, some presents are dressed from Santa to various locals. That's nice. Oh, okay, it's gonna say the same thing. What up, bear? This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Sounds about right. Am I right, people? Whoa. So, all the people in here I've tamed. I think when I played... Like, that was the thing. When I was playing this before, I killed a lot of enemies in, like, the first episode and second episode. And then I found out I wasn't supposed to do that. So I started sparing them. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Yeah, dude. I feel you. Did they say the same thing? Better watch where you sit down in here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Sounds like my kind of place. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. I miss this game. I love that dog. 
It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Hello, duck friends. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Oh, good for you. Those dogs are- oh, he's the person that put the phone number out. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Grilbs. Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. That yeah, makes sense. Grilbs. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip in on their butts. Yeah. The jukebox is broken. Bummer. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? Doesn't thing uh, duh, ugh, it does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu. Same people. Help! I want new drinks and uh, hot guys. Okay. Seems wasted. Hey mouse friend. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Uh, dreariness, crowded, uh, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm not uh, very funny. Yeah, I feel that. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be so morose about it? I don't know why. I keep, like, ad-libbing some of the dialogue. Should I keep... I'll just come up here real quick. I'm not really sure what it's... I, I don't really remember a lot of this. Let's play Monsters and Humans. I don't know what that is, but okay. That was weird. You aren't what well, you aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Okay. I keep hearing a weird noise. I don't know what it is. Oh, is it this? What up, friend? What are you doing? Seems like an important job, so I'll leave you to it. What's going on over here? It's probably nothing. <laughs> or just not important right now. It does feel really good to be playing this game again. I forgot how much character... Like, I've been playing Dark Souls, uh, and it's just like, it's a nice, fresh breath. Fresh of breath air. Breath of fresh air. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That sounds great. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? No. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but I look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. It's impressive. Monster history. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't start at part four. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then, their essence will live on in that thing. Uh... Am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Sprinkle me on pizza. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. Oops, sorry guys. Uh, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Oh. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh. Sorry, I'm still writing that one. <laughs> because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if being, uh, if, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter here. <laughs> monsters do less part four. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. 
Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, passion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Damn. That's shady. Can I read that? I really do think like the world this game created is interesting. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of mail. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Oh, this is their house. It's empty. Guessing I can't go inside? It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Well, let's continue on. We've read every piece of dialogue. Hey, there's the ice. Ooh, this is spooky. What's going to happen? <gasps> it's a... It's a... Oh, it's both. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must feel like, or what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the D of the Royal Guard. I was gonna say DK crew. Alright. Papyrus blocks the way. So I've done this fight before, but that was like four months ago, so I don't really remember how to do it. But as usual, I start with checking. Papyrus tech 20, defense 20, he says things like, yeah. Yeah. Checks out. What does this move do? Okay. Papyrus is trying hard to play cool. Same. I'll flirt. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming claw. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date later, after I capture you. Alright. It's pretty easy so far. Pyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date- okay, so what do I do now? Alright, so let's look. Should I check? No, oh, no, it's gonna say the same thing. The music is still so good. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. Should I insult him? How selfless! You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Alright, so far so good. Wait, Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind- oh, that sounds great. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't be- okay. So... I know I can't show mercy- should I hit him? I should probably hit him. No. Fire stabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind it- I don't even know what that is. Alright, so you're serious. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. I just don't move, right? Your blue attack ain't shit. <laughs> what? Oh shit, I forgot about this. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> oh no. I'm blue. I will de double die. Should I flirt? Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Oh no. I totally forgot about this. Oh, this music is so good. Should I insult him? Okay. So I'll fight him a little bit more. Ugh, it's tough. I guess we'll attack him again. 
Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. This song is... I, I'm sorry. Beauty over... I'll just keep hitting them. I can almost taste my future popularity. It's funny, because... Oh, I didn't know they were going to come from the other side. Damn it. Oh, Papyrus Royce doesn't have ears. That's sad. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Whoop. Fuck. That was close. Smells like bones. Should I just keep fighting him? Oh, that was, that was a mistake. Oh, damn it. Undyne will be really proud of me. Oh, goddamn. <sighs> I don't know if I should expect him to do anything else. I really don't remember. I'm gonna keep attacking. As long as I don't kill him. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Fuck. Prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Pretty good. I don't have lots of admirers, but... But what? Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Probably not. You're pretty great. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh no. That was... Oh no. Oh god. Fuck! Oh god, I'm not dead. Okay. Sorry. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Sans calls it, our garage? You're in the doghouse now. Oh, what? Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's Nano from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nay, fully yours, Papyrus. Shit. It's too small to sleep on. That's not true. I can just walk through the bars. Do I have to fight him again, then? Lame. Alright. Well, that's a bummer. I was like, I should heal, but I didn't. Ooh, all right. Let's try that again. Yeah, the first time I did this fight, I, I won right away, so I, I've never been locked away in the garage. So I guess I'm glad that I got to do that. And I guess it makes sense, too. Like, why would he want to kill you? He just wants to capture you. I appreciate that. Oh, it's very impossible for you to escape. Amazing. I feel as sincere. Wow, wait a second. I still have to capture you. Whoopsie doopsie. I didn't, I didn't for, I, for some reason I didn't think the dialogue would be different. So I should just go through everything the same way, right? Oh no, okay. It just starts where we left off. But well, we're basically starting over, right? Bummer is I had 30 HP the first time I tried to do this fight. I tried to get my controller to work with this game, and I, I couldn't get it, unfortunately. But it's fine. I don't need no stinking controller. There we go. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh, get it now. Get almost done. Oh, again, I, I got that the first time, too. Not 
this time. Nope, never mind. <laughs> It like looks complicated, but it's just not. Oop. Oh, oh, nope. All right, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I, was say, I should probably heal now. But I'll heal after this one. You know, I think this is the one I died on last time too. No. Every time he realizes he doesn't have ears, it's so sad. No, this is the one I died on. Someone like you is really rare. I should probably heal. Pyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told it, and it's frowning. Uh, let's have some of this ice cream. Love yourself. I love you. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if we actually have to fight him to progress. I think it just progresses every turn. A bone attack. Well, I have a bone to pick with you. After you're captured and sent away. Oh my. Cares, give up. That's good life advice. I just remembered a bad one. Can't get 30. I'll face your special attack. You think I'm scared of you? You're just a pile of bones. Oh. There we go. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack. I actually don't remember what it is, so I'm kind of excited. Ah! I'm just gonna heal again. An illustration of a hug. Aww. This is our last chance. Oh, pushed the wrong button. What am I doing? Do it! Do your special attack. Behold my special attack! Oh, it's a puppy! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, wh what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. That's really good. I totally forgot about that. It's an absolutely normal attack. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Fuck. Oh, that's pretty good for a normal attack. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> cool. Dude. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh my god, I love it. I totally forgot about this. <laughs> I love this game so much. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, ele uh, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Pyrus is sparing you. But if I spare you, what then? That's a pretty good fight. No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Excuse me? 
Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Oh, someone should tell him. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. Here, I hereby grant you permission to pass the room, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all in the ground. Anything, en uh, anything can enter. It, ugh. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with, its, uh, with soul power. Soul power! Then, us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dremur, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Where? Whoa, okay. Alright, so there you go. That's uh, Papyrus. Pretty, pretty simple. Not too difficult of a fight. Um, I will go on that date. I just want to get to the next save point. Try to pick that up, and there's nothing. Um, I just want to save, and then I'll go on the date. Hello? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It, that's really good. Yo, are you sneaking out and see her, too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> okay. That's so... That's really funny. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill beast. Wanna come? Uh, in a minute. Alright. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sound, save here. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Alright, cool. So we're at the waterfall, we're still level one, everything seems okay. Um, in the next episode, we will go on that date with Papyrus. Guys, be sure to like the video, it really does help a lot, and subscribe to the channel, that way you're always updated when new videos come out. Thanks again for watching, I hope you're as excited to see more Undertale as I am, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!